Hi everyone, welcome to the Surface Navy Association 2023 National Symposium. I am here with Raytheon. Mike Mills, Senior Director for Naval Radar Programs at Raytheon to get an update on the SPY-6 family of radars. So what's the, the latest with uh, SPY-6? So uh, we just got done uh, sea trials uh, back in December where the SPY-6 radar and the AMDR variant uh, on DDG-125, the Jack Lucas, went out to sea for five days and the uh, radar performed phenomenal. So all, met all of its objectives, a very exciting time to be on the program. Um, lots going on. So, what kind of tests were performed during those sea trials? It was an opportunity for the Alpha trials. They called Alpha trials, where the radar actually got uh, commanded by the combat management system. So the combat management system was actually controlling the radar. So it was a able to do targets of opportunity. Uh, we were able to collect data and start looking at it and analyzing the data as we move through the Navy's test program. Now the SPY-6 is a family of radars, it comes in uh, di different uh, configurations in order to uh, support various types of ships. Can you guide us through all the variants? Yeah, absolutely. So what you're looking at here, this is a radar module assembly. So this is actually a two foot by two foot by two foot box and it is actually a radar in a box. So what this is, it allows us to be able to build the radar in the multiple configurations because these radar module assemblies are all the same. It doesn't matter if it's a AMDR or it's an ESER variant. Uh, there's four variants today that the Navy is procuring, uh, starting with the AMDR. The AMDR is a four-face uh, 37 RMA per uh, face that goes on all the Flight 3 ships. And this, the Flight 3s were designed around the radar, so this is a new class ship that this goes on. Uh, then you go in the ESER variant, which is Enterprise Air Surveillance Radar. That's going on all the amphibs and carriers. So you have two configurations today. First one being the V2. Uh, that is a rotating version. So that goes on the amphibs. And then you could go into the Victor 3, V3 configuration. That's the three fixed face uh, configuration that goes on all the carriers. Both the V2 and V3, those are all nine RMA configurations. Uh, today, we've already delivered uh, to five ship sets of hardware to, uh, for the Flight 3 ships. Uh, the first carrier, CVN-79, the John F. Kennedy, it's got all its hardware installed. We've delivered that. And then the first uh, V2 has been delivered to LPD-29. So that's the first rotating version going on AMFIB. We're also getting ready, uh, there's a Victor 4, which is the 24 RMA configuration. Uh, that's going on all the Flight 2A ships, so that's what they call backfit. And the Navy's getting ready to award that in the next couple months. So you've got multiple variants from the AMDR, which is the 37 RMA, the V2, which is a 9 RMA rotator, and then you've got the V3, which is, again is going on the carriers and the frigates. That's a 9 RMA 3 fixed face. And then you've got uh, the V4, which is going on the backfit, which is a 24 RMA 4 face configuration. And uh, what kind of uh, new capabilities or uh, mission sets do uh, SPY-6 bring to the, the sailors? What the, the big thing is, it's range. And what I mean by range, how far it can see to search, detect, and, and counteract. Uh, what that does for the sailor today, bringing this capability is, it allows them to carry more offensive missiles than defensive missiles because how far this radar can actually detect. Uh, which is a great capability. The other thing is you can do simultaneous air defense. So it, you can also do ballistic missile defense uh, with uh, cruise missiles, you can do air and surface ships, and all simultaneously, which is a key that they've never been able to do before. So Mike, we are in uh, 2023. What's next for the program? Big things are, uh, you know, we're right now under contract today for 25 ship sets of hardware. So the Navy awarded us what we call our full rate production contract back in March. Uh, they do it by option year, so today we're under 25. They're getting ready to award their next contract to us coming up in the next couple months, which is another key. Continuous production is very, very important. Uh, the other thing is trials. So there, the Navy's going through more sets of trials this year. Uh, which is going to be a big deal for them to be able to get this out in the fleet as they get closer to IOC, which is going to happen in 24, late 24. The other thing is we're going to be activating CVN-79, so a lot of integration going on this year with CVN-79 to bring that online, and they're going to start their trials next year. 
and then LPD-29. So late this summer, LPD-29 will start their trials. So a lot of work going on in the shipyards right now with us integrating these radars. Uh, last but not least, are you active on the international front? We are. So uh, today we've got about 10 different countries that we're working with. Uh, very, very important. We've been doing a lot of meetings with the Navy to educate them on the radar. Uh, there are a lot of close eye on what the Navy's been doing from their test program that the international customers have been looking at. So we're just waiting for that first international sale. All right, Mike. Thank you very much. Thank you.